everybody, Sanitary 103 here again. Welcome to another episode of Healthy Groceries for the Week. Just got back from the grocery store and let's see what we got going. So uh, I pretty much uh, have a lot of stuff already, so it's probably be a pretty quick episode. We'll start off with uh, some good old, good old chicken breast right here. Chicken's the main staple I like to use for my protein. And this is something new right here. If you want to come closer, this is Sea Cuisine. Asian spice tilapia and nutritional information the tilapia without the sauce is 130 calories only two net carbs and a 21 grams of protein so this is not too bad he's popping in the oven I'll let you guys know how that tastes it's got some uh, good old uh, organic uh, chicken broth right here and good old russet potatoes And nothing like some fresh uh, tilapia right here. Fresh tilapia. Good source of protein. Fish is always good. High in protein. Virtually hardly any fat. And then uh, one of my go-to uh, carb sources for uh, vegetables is a good old asparagus. Very low in uh, carbs and a good amount of fiber. I love my asparagus. Broccoli is good too. I get tired of broccoli sometimes. And then I just got a couple of apples right here. It's good to get your fruit intake. And apples have a lot of good vitamins and minerals and are very healthy. And right here, uh, there's a two for five at the store I just went to. Right here, this is Wolfgang Puck right here. Want to come a little bit closer, it's organic soup. This is a free range chicken with wild rice and a classic minestrone. Soup overall is not too bad. It's typically lower in calorie and it fills you up. I actually did a video on soup, which I will upload probably in the next couple of weeks. But I won't go too much in depth because I do have a video on that, like I said. So that one's done and just one more bag. Right here from Ocean Beauty, salmon burgers right here. Uh, one salmon burger, 200 calories, uh, 16 net carbs, and 13 grams of protein. So even though it is uh, crusted, it actually doesn't have too many carbs, only 200 calories. So it's a near one-to-one -one protein to carb ratio. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And then I just have some uh, random uh, spinach right here. And two-fourths of the berry family. Got some blackberries and blueberries. Gotta get my fruit in. And I have one quick meal on the go. I think you've seen this before. It's a chicken skewer with a ginger sauce. I'll probably use just a little bit of that with some brown rice. Quick meal on the go. And then I just have uh, one lemon. Oh, whoops. Let's pick that up in a second. And then one uh, yam right here or sweet potato. And last but not least, it's what I'm gonna be having for dinner. We'll serve for two. This is a cross rib roast. I'm gonna be doing a cooking video on this, served with some asparagus and I believe a baked potato. And that's a good amount of protein. This is a little bit over a pound right here. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks once again for watching this video. And if you have any comments or questions or any video suggestions, be sure to leave it down below or send me a message. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.